Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're here with Kelsey. Hi guys. So I just got a very surprising package in the mail and I cannot wait to smell it with you guys. And of course I had to have Kelsey's input as well. Oh. I just opened up this beautiful package from Kaoli with their new vacay in a bottle collection. I am literally, I'm kind of freaking out on the inside a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so excited. I am so excited about this. Everything about this is so fun. The colors of the bottles, you can see here that um, this is just a mini set, which I always rave about Kaoli, how they do the miniatures, like the Lux miniatures. Yes, because, I love that. It's not yeah, just like a boring exactly. travel bottle. Exactly. Oh, it's so fun. You feel like you have the full yes. presentation, but it's still the perfect way to like test out to see if you really want a full size bottle or not. And just fun to put in your purse. Yeah, you know, super cute go. to bring around with you. I love it. So we have four new fragrances here in blue, green, yellow, and looks like an orange color. So very tropical. We're just gonna open it up and I'm gonna like whack you in the face on accident. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna open her up and smell them because honestly, this has not been released yet. I mean, by the time that you are seeing this video, it is it has been released publicly but I don't know anything about this collection. I don't know anything about this scent. They do have a little bit of a note breakdown on the back here. Okay. Why am I so excited? I know, <laughs> me too. I love that they like dedicated each bottle to a place. Yeah, like, yeah. that's so fun. Oh, they're so cute. I love how they get These so colorful colors. with their products. Oh my oh. gosh. Very summery. They're just very like appealing colors. Yeah. Like, you know, it just, Makes you happy looking at it. Like it does. I could just smile. Oh my gosh, this blue color. Okay, we have to start with the blue one. So the first one is called Maldives in a bottle. Hopefully this brings us to yes, the Maldives. Exactly. I've always wanted to go there so ah. bad. It's beautiful. We need to plan a trip. Yes. I think that's uh, going to be the whole theme of this collection is to just transport you to a place, to a very summery location. Ylang Coco. Already I'm like Coconut. Right up my alley. Okay. Ylang Ylang. I'm a sucker for a beautiful yellow floral. This one has notes of rosemary, wild lemon, star oh. fruit, oh. banana blossom, ylang ylang, and coconut milk. Immediately I'm getting it in the air and I yeah. get the coconut milk, the banana. The banana. Wow. Whoa. I'm calling it. I think that we're gonna see a banana trend, which is just so like left field out of nowhere. Yeah. Who would have but thought? yeah, I think it's gonna be a trendy note this summer. It's super fun because it's sweet. This and is fresh. really good. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's very tropical, but it's not like a sunscreen, like suntan lotion kind of tropical. Yeah, yeah the that banana, banana really brings a changes lot. it. Yeah. Really? Wow. Like I'm just picturing the color yellow. I know it's the blue, star fruit too. I'm the star fruit yellow. too. Very yes. unique fruitiness. That's very wow. like airy. It's not really like juicy. It's very airy and a little kind of milky. I think it's the Ylang Ylang yeah. that's doing that. Making it a little creamy. Yeah. Wow, this is so that's pretty. a great start. Oh. It just makes you smile. I'm not really a huge pretty. coconut person, yeah. but the coconut I am. milk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sucker. I love coconut. I love coconut. It's fragrances. making it like creamy, which I really enjoy. It almost kind of smells like a smoothie. Yeah. Like a like a like you're on vacation on a in a tiki hut drinking mm. a smoothie or something. Like pina colada, yeah. daiquiri. I used to have like banana smoothies growing yeah. up with the milk, just like banana and milk. That's it. That's what it smells like. Great start. I really like this one. Me wow. too. Oh my God. Maldives. I feel that I'm going to love the orange one. I don't know why. So next we have the orange bottle, of course. Orange Blossom. I already know Kelsey's going to like this one. Marrakesh in a bottle. This is an interesting one because it's not really like a tropical like summery destination that you would think of. It's interesting that you say that because reading the notes on the back, it's not also not like a typically tropical scent profile. So the notes mm. in here are bergamot, orange blossom, pink pepper, Turkish rose, neroli, and cedar wood. Oh, that's so, interesting. Yeah, very huh. floral. Yeah. I'm be interested to see how woody this is. Oh my gosh, immediately I'm getting Ooh, like neroli. Natural, a yeah. lot of neroli. Not expecting that, especially Me with either. the name orange blossom. A lot of neroli, yes, which like I'm green. not complaining about because I really, really, really like neroli. 
which is the flower that you'll find in fragrances. It kind of gives off like Love Don't Be Shy, yeah. Sintra by Memo. I'm Sintra, yeah, it has Can't Stop similar. Loving You. Mm -hmm. Like it's kind of sweet and fluffy, but very citric and yeah. powdery at the same time. But this isn't going to be as like green, spicy, earthy as Sintra. I w yeah, I think this would be the most comparable to Sintra versus For sure, Love Don't Be yeah. Shy. Oh, definitely, yeah. Because it has more of that natural essence to yeah, it. Yeah, it really it's does. It's not sugary sweet. But makes it tropical in that way. Yeah. That it's not like a thick marshmallow. Mm -hmm vanilla, you know. It's tropical in a different way, which I actually like that they included that because yeah, it's super not everyone wants a coconut, creamy, fruity, like typically tropical scent. Like this, I'm going to wear that. Yeah, this is really I'll, different. I'm gonna wear this a lot. I'm not gonna <laughs> kind of say anything bad. <laughs> I need to keep my composure, keep my cool. But this is my type of fragrance, seriously. I love neroli and I'm really happy and surprised that it's more neroli than orange blossom. I do feel the orange blossom a little bit in it's there. It's coming through as it dries. Yeah, it's getting a little bit more sweetened, mm -hmm. which I really like, but I do like that it keeps that fresh green quality to it. Great alternative so yeah, to something wow, like Sintra nice. by Memo, which is very expensive. Yes. And also that's another thing we can throw flowers to Kaoli for because I really appreciate that their prices are sub $100. It's a great like, not necessarily like budget friendly, it's not like a cheapie or anything like that, but the prices of designer fragrances are nuts. Yeah, they're starting to increase more Getting up more, to the $200 yeah. range, it's insane. This is way more accessible, especially exactly. since they're at Sephora. Mm -hmm. That's another thing that I love because you can find them way easier yeah, now. Yeah, you can try them and I like that they are accessible in the price point, but mm -hmm. also they're going to smell very unique compared to anything in yes. Sephora. Like they have that kind of like, like flair to them, they you know? Do. There's something different about them. And this is a very fun idea. All right, Marrakesh in a bottle. That really surprised like this. me, wow. Yeah, I really do like it a lot. Too. Oh my gosh. At least a nine out of 10. We still need to wear this on skin, but that first impression is really good. It's gonna really warm up on the skin, Yeah, I think. oh, it's gonna be beautiful. In the mm. heat outside, whew, Capri in a bottle. Lemon sugar. All right, so I feel like this is gonna be more of a like citrus, straight up citrus fragrance. The notes in here, lemon, sugar, freesia, raspberry, vanilla, and musk. Oh, wow. Uh, I was thinking limoncello, but I think it's gonna be a bit more fruity. It might be a little limoncello -y. Oh my God, I'm getting it in the air. Really? <laughs> Whoa. It smells like a gummy bear. Yeah, or like a sorbet. Yeah. Oh my God. But it doesn't have like that icy cold sensation from like yeah, it's ice like cream. it's melting. It's... It literally smells like gummy bears to me. Wow. Like a gummy candy. I really get the lemon raspberry and then the sugar is giving yeah. it this sweet. Oh wow. <sighs> wow, seriously, we're speechless. This is a really good collection guys. Seriously, I feel like oh my God. sometimes with the Kaoli releases, it can be a hit or miss for some people. Like people either absolutely like resonate with it, they relate with it, they love it, or some people think, oh, it's not really for me. Right. This collection is going to be so universally loved. Oh, 100%. This There's is something really for everybody. Pretty. I'm almost, have you ever had like a lemon cake, but then like something oh, like yeah. blueberry or like some yes. raspberry? Oh my gosh, you are spot on right? with that. Like that lemon like that? blueberry cake. Yeah. And you really get like the sugariness of this kind of smells like icing, mm. like the lemon icing yeah. on the cake. Yeah. Wow. Oh. <gasps> it just keeps getting better. It's not a typical fresh fragrance. At no, all. not at There's all. There's no other like designer, citrusy, fresh, like summer scent that you could possibly buy that smells like this. It's unique, but it smells like a lemon blueberry cake. Does that make sense? Yeah, <laughs> and it's like, it's gourmand, but it's like a fresh gourmand. Yeah. It's light, it's not too thick or wow. overly sweet. Oh my God, I feel like this is my favorite so really? far. Yeah, because yeah. it's kind of gourmand, but mm. still very fresh at the same time. I oh. really like that sugary lemon. Yeah. Ooh, oh. wow. Okay, so the last one is Maui in a Bottle. And this one is going to be interesting because it's called Maui in a Bottle Sweet Banana. Oh, this is the banana one. This is the banana one. Oh, wow, okay. 
Whew. They and threw those, a banana in there twice. Yeah, but this is a top, like the number one note is sweet banana, pear, coconut cream with jasmine, sandalwood, and vanilla. Oh my gosh. Oh. I mean, have we ever had like a legit banana fragrance ever? Not that I have yeah. ever heard of. Yeah, this is revolutionary. <laughs> Changing the world. <laughs> this smells like, I have no idea what the brand is. Like, I don't remember. But like, you know when you're a kid, and you're at the mall and they have those like quarter candy machines. Oh. And it ha it's like that hard candy. <gasps> yes, I know. With the banana, about. The and banana and the round ones. Yes. It literally smells like that banana candy. And they're like hard it's and you have pez. to it's crunch not into pez. them. What is it's not sweet tarts either. No, what I is know that exactly brand? what you're talking about. I'm gonna find a picture of it. It's I'm like the red it. thing where you yeah. put the corner yeah, into yeah. the thing. And there's a I mixture of berries yes. and it has the banana in yeah. there. Oh it my literally God. smells exactly like that. Like, wow. boom, right back to my childhood. Oh my God. The banana is there, but it's more of like a sugary, candy banana. Candied banana, yeah. This is more like the more sugary one, less creamy, I'm mm -hmm. feeling. I like it because it reminds me of that, but to wear it, I, I don't think I would wear this. Yeah, it's very, very sweet, yeah. very sugary. Yeah. Like a literal candy that you're biting into. It's, it's still beautiful. Like if you love very sweet gourmand scents, I think you're gonna love it. Maybe layering it with something fresher. Yeah. But on its own, I don't think I could wear this. It's just, I like this scent, but it's just not my style to wear. It's very young, girly. Yeah, it is very young. And I feel like if you sprayed a lot of this and it's really hot, it could get a little thick. Yeah, This like is a thick a scent. Bit, yeah. yeah, no, it still is. Simple. But yeah. what, like, what is the competition? <laughs> yeah. Where is another banana scent? I think we saw a banana scent from, <laughs> from Marc Jacobs, but. Yeah, but I feel that Marc Jacobs has a very typical DNA. This is yeah. a different style. Exactly, step away. Banana candy from whatever that brand is called. <laughs> Interesting. No, it's wow. still very different. I'm yeah. blown away. All right, I need to. We need to smell them. So back to Maldives. The Maldives one is pretty, but this is also kind of becoming like a candy sweet. There's something kind of clean about this one. That's what I was thinking. I'm getting this like marine blue yeah. freshness to it. Almost like a women's David off cool water. Yeah, in crazy? a way. But the woman's David off cool water sucks, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that existed. Yeah, yeah. This is beautiful. Very like blue. Yeah, this is beachy. I would wear this to the beach for yeah. sure. Perfect vacation fragrances. Marrakesh. Uh, you yeah. like that one, yeah. Uh, this is it. This is my winner, hands down. It's just so tropical and fresh, but like very womanly. You yeah, know? this is very sophisticated. Sophisticated, exactly. Very Chic. elegant. To me, this is not going Heavenly. to the beach. It's more of like resort. resort yeah, living, resort. You know? You're wearing dresses every day. And then Capri, it's also really <laughs> good. Oh, I love that Ooh. gourmand. Kaoli just does gourmands on an X level. Like just the most realistic, but it's kind of woody. Yeah, I could see that. Oh man, it's like milky. Yeah. The musk <sighs> and the vanilla together. Yeah, it is a little lactonic. Oh wow, this is my it's favorite. Really good. Yeah. Oh, I like this one too. And I love that description, lemon blueberry cake. It's <laughs> right? perfect. Oh man, and I've then, been really into lemon gourmands. Well, the last one's drying pretty good. Maui, the sweet banana. The dry down is better. Yeah, it's still quite like sugary. But it's not as like thick as it was before. Yeah, it has a little more like fluffiness to it. Doesn't it doesn't quite smell like the candies anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just picture like blue water, blue sky. I know there's not one that I didn't like. Yeah, a very fun, playful new collection. Yeah. And something very different than what Kaoli already has out. I feel like, you know, we got the Oogasm collection, very dark, very Arabic, Middle Eastern. And then we got another like heavy vanilla and now I don't think they have anything in their entire lineup that's quite like this. So perfect time to be releasing it, heading oh, into summer, yeah. heading into vacation season. I'm excited to wear these. I mean, obviously, I'm not going anywhere this summer. <laughs> we already going live in Miami paradise. Beach. Yeah, I'll go down to South Beach and I will wear all of these. Wow! Wow! I'm I really, really like this. surprised. Like I'm shocked, surprised. seriously, I was not expecting this at all. Yeah, that was just a really quick, like first impression. Obviously we need to test these out and then we'll do like an updated 
review video for you. But thank you for helping me test these out, yes, giving your input. thank you for letting me That's smell them fun. for the first time. Wow. Yeah, I'm really impressed, especially with the, the orange blossom. And the Capri, oh, wow. Yeah, beautiful. Lemon gourmand heaven. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow Kelsey, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.